so um, today we'll be covering the details related to biotem cloud and uh, how we can create a company in the cloud system and i'll show you how to create a user as well as how you can connect an uh, biometric device to the biotem cloud software so i'll give you an overview about the cloud system our biotem cloud offers actually a time attendant solution for small to medium scale companies who doesn't need to set up a physical server which is actually powered by an amazon web service so you can make sure that all of your data are protected and uh, it ensures availability and uh, confidentiality of your data so it's like an uh, centralized software where you don't need to set up any like servers or uh, other like a domain set up from the customer endpoint you can just directly get used the service of uh, cloud and you can start the time attendant solution for your company so, like uh, the page you are seeing is actually our website uh, biotemcloud.com i'll share the links in the chat like after the uh, training so you can see from the website itself you can see the details related to the software you can see how the pay scale is happening how you can subscribe and uh, other details about the functionalities and uh, details related to the software so today we are specifically uh, pointing on to the points like how to create a company for your an account for your company then how you can uh, create a user how you can connect an biometric machine and use the system so i'll share the document give me a second so initially i'll give an detail how the process is happening so uh, once you open the biotemcloud.com url there will be a sign up which which will be seen in the bottom part so you can click on the sign up which will go to a page like this where you can give your company details employee details and all so check sorry so once you click on the sign up page uh, you will be asked to enter few details related to your company as i show you like email id you will have to give your phone number details and create and password for your company account once you create this you can uh, click on sign up then you will be redirected to a page like this and it will show that an uh, email has been sent to your account and you will be receive an email to the email id which you have previously mentioned on the sign up page and you will receive an email like this where there will be an activate account button as you can see here highlighted in blue color so this it will redirect and show it to a, take you to a page like uh, this and it will mention like your account has been created successfully now you can create a new company or you can uh, join a company so today as we have mentioned we will be discussing mainly on the creating a new company and uh, other setup so you will click on the create new company setup once you create a new company it will ask for the company name so you can see the first first column uh, you will have to enter the company name which will be used as the domain url for your account so you can see company name dot biotemcloud.com will be your company's url to access the biotem cloud after that you can choose the location of your uh, company and uh, click continue so once you do this you will be redirected to, to the login page of your company url as as of now i have actually created a uh, test id to show your demo so i just took some screenshot so that you can see the like how the page will be coming uh for the sign up setup you only require an email id and you have to provide the company name dot uh, like a whatever domain you are expected to use for your company once this is created you will be redirected to the login page and you can see here i just mentioned the support email so if ever like you are facing some issues or uh, anything related to the biotem cloud you can always uh, share the details to this mail account or from the biotem cloud uh, 
support page you can click to uh, click on the support and uh, you can uh, mention the details in the website itself then i'm going back and i'll show you how the after sign up how the web page will be displaying so as you can see uh, this was an account just created by so once you provide the company name and click confirm you will be redirected and uh, you will be landing onto a page like uh, the company name dot biotem cloud dot So you'll be automatically redirected to the company name dot your uh, whatever domain you purchase against your company. So you can see always the URL will be the company name dot biotimecloud dot com. Kindly note this point because usually we are getting inquiries related to this that uh, they are not able to access what the URL is different like that. So once you land on the domain URL, you can give the email ID which you use to sign up. And then the password or the company name. And provide the same company name. And once it's verified the company, you will have to provide the password and login. So once you log in, you will be landing onto a dashboard like this. Where you can see all the overview of uh, your system. You can see the real-time data in the chart setup. And you can see the events. You can see the total overall statistics. You can see how many employees are present, like apps and details, number of device connected, those kind of real-time details you can see here. So once you log in, uh, you, can, you can create multiple users and share the access to the uh, other like a team members or company holders. I'll show you how to create a uh, user now. So here, like uh, either you can create a super admin or you can create an like a normal user by giving them privileges. So you can see there is already an account showing against the uh, super admin which I already created. So you can see how I'll show you how you can uh, create an user. So you can click add. From here you can give your mail ID details. So once you give the mail ID details, you can give the first name. These are for uh, just. Uh, uh, like visual purpose, you can give the first name, last name details. It will be displayed in the like report which you show before. And you should enable the employee and give the super super user permission if it's a super user. Then once you give this, you can click confirm and create a new user here. Then there is another option also. You can invite a user by clicking invite user and give the username which the employee need to be signed in and uh, you can give their email id so an activation uh, email will be sent to the uh, user so always once you set up an uh, company like a company domain or uh, your account you should set up the smtp in order to uh, pass the email notification so you can come to email setup here you can give you SMTP server settings and other details. So according to this, the emails will be sent. From this account, all the emails will be sent to the, uh, like uh, you can see how, like when I'm creating user also, it's sending emails, right? So those emails will be sent from this account. So always, once you create an account, you should uh, like ensure that you have created an email, uh, you have, connected an email set up here so that all the email related service you will be able to utilize. Going back, if you want to create an uh, like a normal user with some privileges, initially you will have to come down to authentication and create a group. So you can click add, you can see give a name, like uh, you can give like a HR user and separate uh, user login and give them the privilege. So you can see here in the employee section, whether the user need to have an access to view or edit, you can see whether they need to have all the access to these modules, you can enable and disable according to your use.
So same way you can provide for each module available on the biotem system. So once you give the access, you can uh, click confirm. You can click confirm and uh, it will create the domain. Once it's created, you can come back to the user section. You can click add and you can see that uh, there is uh, groups you can give initially the username, mail ID details, uh, you can give the first name details after that. You can click enable. Um, okay. You can give the username and uh, can choose the uh, enable button. And here in the down the group section, you can see, see the name uh, which we created HR. So same group you need to select. So once this user is login, he'll be only having access to person section with whatever privilege I have provided to the HR role. So same way you can create like multiple users and multiple privileges in the system and share the access. So this is how you create a an user in the Biotem cloud after logging into the system. So you can see there are multiple modules like person device attendance, like each are designated to access uh, details related to employee uh, device section will handle all the details related to devices attendance module for the report purposes and access module will, you can control the basic access uh, settings for the machines and system module have all the configuration and integration setup related to third party and other other security related settings you can manage from the system module now i'll show you like how to connect a device to the system So once a device is powered up, you can see you will be coming to a landing page like this. I, if the sensor is detecting, it will turn on the camera automatically. So you can see here there is two menu. Uh, one is to access the main menu and one is for uh, like signing in as a user. So I'll click on the main menu and it will show all the menus available in the system. So first what we need to do is connect a network. So for that, we need to go to the system settings. So I'll click on system settings. Once it's open, you can see the first menu is network settings. So you can click and go to the network settings. So you can see here for this machine, it have a capability to connect both TCP IP as well as Wi-Fi settings. So currently our system device is connected with Wi-Fi. So you can see, you can click Wi-Fi and connect to any Wi-Fi network. So once it's connected, it will show here as connected. Okay, and when we come back, you can see the IP details also under here for any debugging purpose, you can check from the bottom. So once the Wi-Fi is connected, the second thing what we need to do is uh, connect the server settings. As, as I mentioned, the server settings, we need to point to the Biotem Cloud URL, which you have created for your company. So I'll show you. We'll click on Cloud Server Settings to configure this. So we'll click on Cloud Server Settings. So you can see there are settings like enable domain name. So we'll first enable the domain name and we'll click on the server address section. We'll click edit. And here you will have to give the whole URL. You can see I have given the full URL, HTTPS colon slash slash and given the whole domain details until .com. So once it's given, we'll click OK, confirm and we have to open HTTPS also. This is mandatory to connect the device to the uh, Biotime Cloud system because all account will be default coming with HTTPS. So we'll have to enable open HTTPS to connect. So once both are enabled, we'll come back to the home menu and you can see here in the top, there are two settings showing. One is network that is showing Wi-Fi is connect. Second one is for the server connection. So currently we only pointed the server address. Now the second thing is like we need to connect the device from the software. So I'll from device side, we only need to connect these two settings. One is network and second one is for connecting the cloud server. If both are done, the next thing is what we need to do is we need to configure the device to an area from the software, which I'll share now. 
So you can see here once we put the cloud server settings, uh, we'll give the once we give the domain URL, it will automatically displays here in the device section. You can see I come to device under device management, click on device. So this will automatically display here and show the status as unauthorized because uh, it's currently coming to default area and you can see that default area, the device will not transfer or do any connection. That's why the device was showing not connected to the cloud server. So what we need to do is initially create an area and connect the device to that area. So you can see in the top, there is an option to add new area. We need to click on add new area give an area name okay like i'll give like a charger something like that you can give the company name or uh, region details here and area code also once you click confirm uh, the area will be automatically created and then we will click on the serial number here it's highlighted in blue once you click on it it pop up a window with the device information here so we'll give the device a name then we need to assign it to an area since i have created already one area i'll connect to that one then uh, you can see the transfer mode it's mentioned in real time other things we don't need to change then uh, the main thing is the time zone time zone you will have to put according to your region then uh, attendance should be yes then uh, registration device also should be yes registration device is for like once it's uh, turned on then only the user data added on the devices will be uploaded to the software. Then once these three are done, you can click confirm. Okay, so you can see the status is changed to green now. So I'll refresh again. You can see the user data has been uploaded to software again. So you can see in the device, it already had like 17 transactions and one face count details. Everything got uploaded to the software automatically. So to see these employee details, you can go to personal section and click on employee and see that the details have been uploaded here. Okay, so for uh, currently I showed you an Android machine. So like most of the Android machines will be having the same setup. You will have to come to system settings and uh, configure the details. If it's a Linux model machine, it will be the main menu will be um, communication, COMM. Communication menu, you can find all the details related to network configuration as well as the server configuration. So other settings are same, only the menus will be different uh, as for the Linux model machines and Android model devices. So basically for the device settings, only network settings as well as the cloud server settings you have to configure. Once it's done properly, the device will automatically show up in the software as I showed you. It will be showing as yellow color state, not authorized. Once you add to an area, then only the device will get connected and sync. So as I showed you before in the home screen of the device, before it was showing like a red mark on the ZPA. Uh, symbol next to Wi-Fi. So once you connect to an area, it will change and it will show as connected. And the transaction you will be able to find from the transaction section as well as uh, you can use the attendance report to view the details. So I hope that's it for today's session. If ever you have any doubt or have any inquiry re related to the Biotime Cloud system, you can always connect to the Biotime cloud at zktechco.com. It's an email ID for the support purposes. You can always email the details to the same. We will be responding back in within a day. So I have put the email ID in the chat. Like whoever require or need to send any details, you can always connect connect us through this email. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.